Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here in Austin, Texas at SC15 at the Intel booth, and I'm here with Barry Davis. How are you doing today, sir? Good, Rich. How are you doing? Good, good. You know, this must be a special day for you. You're, this is kind of the birthday of Omnipath. It is. It is. Uh, we are just so excited here at Intel. Um, today is the day that we, uh, we launched the Intel Omnipath architecture. It's a journey that started in late 2011. Uh, with, with a plan, with a strategy. A strategy to actually change the nature of uh, high bandwidth, low latency HPC fabrics. We acquired the InfiniBand uh, team from, the, from QLogic. We actually acquired the ASIC design team from Cray for the Aries fabric. Put all that together with a great team from Intel. Three short years later, the Intel OmniPath architecture is born. And, and here, in that sh in that short amount of time, you've, you've basically taken the fabric and, and brought it right onto the package, haven't you? That's right. Well, we actually have a complete end-to-end -end solution. Yeah. We have, um, we're starting actually with, with discrete adapters. We have uh, edge switches, top rack edge switches, a 48 port and a 24 port. We have core director switches. We have cables. We have a complete suite of software. But then it gets really exciting when um, in uh, uh, next year we actually integrate directly onto the package with the uh, Knight's Landing CPU, the Z uh, Xeon Phi Knight's Landing CPU, and then the following year on the next 14 nanometer uh, Intel Xeon CPU. And then it just takes off from there. And of course you had the big win, right, at, at Argon, this, this Aurora system, right? We have the Aurora system, and that's actually the OmniPath architecture generation two, Ooh. believe oh, it or not. Okay. That's actually gen two, okay. that's gen two. Oh, right. So we're actually working on gen two and gen three today. Yeah. Uh, so we have all of our, uh, our leading researchers, our, our pathfinding engineers, working on our very extensive roadmap. So we're really excited about that. Okay, so, so Barry, we both know that the world isn't just Intel. you got a whole ecosystem here, don't you, oh, for God, the scalable yeah. system framework? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. We have, um, uh, actually here at the show, yeah. we actually have over 20 uh, partners showing the Intel OmniPath architecture mm -hmm. in their booths, uh, a combination of both OEMs, uh, and and uh, and software vendors, um, you know the, the you know I'm not going to name I can't name everybody so I'm not going to name anybody. <laughs> okay. But what I'm going to say is we have all the top MNCs, yeah. we have almost every single uh, major OEM in the world, yeah. and uh, uh, certainly the verticals in the HPC space as well. The response has just been fantastic. And in addition, we have over 75 partners in the Intel Fabric Builders program. These are both OEMs cable vendors, software vendors, everybody that's are partaking in the OmniPath ecosystem, and it's just the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I, I learned something the other day. I read that this is actually open source, this oh, OmniPath. Yeah. I didn't know that. No, everything is open source. Actually, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, when, we, when we started with the Intel TrueScale architecture, yeah. that was actually a closed source solution. Yeah. As we, as we came in and we looked at OmniPath and we said, okay, what do we need to do here? What do we need to, what do, we need to do to, to jumpstart the ecosystem? We made the conscious decision, we open sourced the entire software stack. That allows us, our partners, to actually innovate. And that was the goal, was innovation on top of our software stack. We do that through an open source strategy.